So you ready? You got your wine in? You sure? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of How Did We Get Here? I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been working a lot, um, <laughs> grinding a lot. Um, we got new lights in here, so it's a little brighter in here. Um, you know, makes for better lighting, I guess. Mm -hmm. And um, making us look good as a couple. I don't know that. <laughs> um, but today, long anticipated, uh, a couple of people been asking, so we're going to hop into it. Um, this, this is going to be like a part one. We'll have a part two later. But today, we talking about that nasty thing. Get down and dirty. They talk nasty to me or talk nice to me. Treat me right. That bump bump. That uh, uh, uh. that that bump and grind. Baby making. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. The what is it? What is it called? The birds and the bees. The Okay. All, all, sex. All right. We talking sex. about sex today. <laughs> We talking about sex and we're gonna hop into things and uh we're gonna talk about how to engage in sex how to set the mood for sex and we're gonna give a couple tips at the end you know to help out with sex with you and your partner or whoever you're dealing with all right uh first off baby how you doing hey i'm good how are you i'm good i'm good blessed um everything is great can't complain sure can't Everything moving good. Yeah. Um. And no, sorry. If, uh, no what? virus. Oh yeah, we good. We good. Um. Shout out to everybody that has been watching us. Um. Again, we want to apologize for the delay. Um. That's mainly on my fault because she's been telling us, telling me that we need to do this podcast. Um. So we're gonna be dropping episodes. We're gonna get back to it and we'll get back on it. All right. So diving in. How to engage in sex. There's ways to engage in sex while you're doing it. You, or should we talk about setting the mood first before engaging? Yeah, setting the mood is good. Okay, let's talk about setting the mood. The mood. Setting the mood first is important. Right. It, it gets your partner in the mood and it gets your partner in the mindset that, uh, Okay, we're ready to have sex. This is getting ready to happen. Like, this is getting ready to happen. Let's do it. Let's build it up. Um, so, what are some ways to set the mood? Um, so, first, what you can do is build up anticip anticipation for it. So, that can entail um, sending text messages, sending pictures, um, just telling you know, your significant other, how much you've been thinking about them throughout the day, what your plans are for later on in the day or in the mm. middle of the day or the night or whenever you all plan to engage in sex. Just building the anticipation. That's the first thing that starts to get your mind, start thinking about it um, constantly to get you ready for what's getting ready to come. Mm -hmm. And also, um, like uh uh create um certain scenarios you know um set set a mood for like um we're gonna do banks and robbers tonight you know when you come in the house you like set a scene set a scenario make it movie night yeah pick a favorite movie that you like and you can pick a scene out of that movie and recreate that scene or some fantasy that maybe one or both of you have had and create that scene and just make a movie, record it um, on your phone, preferably the female <laughs> phone. That way the yes. female has control over it Yes, and Get you can go phone. back and, and watch the movie night. And then that also could be a way to build anticipation. You can send um, a copy of it, say, hey, watch this. You know, this is getting ready to happen tonight, or you know, I want to recreate this moment. That's a, another or way this to do position, it. yeah, or this moment when you did this or you did that. Um, but um, yeah, but set the mood. You know, set up the camera, set up the rose petals, set up the scene, set up lights. And even if you go to Amazon and buy some twenty dollar lights, set up the lights um, in your in your house or where hotel or wherever you may be 
um, set it up, make the mood nice. Um, like she said, reenact the, your favorite movie, whether if it's Talladega Nights, whether if it's Brown Sugar, whether, whether if it's Friday, uh, <laughs> anything, uh, The Wood, which is my favorite movie. Um, but anyways, uh, other ways that you can, um, set the mood is, um, playing dress up, you know, that, that also kind of goes into the movie night, but also like, whether if y'all into Comic-Con or Dragon Ball Z anime, all that stuff, like anything, like dress up, make it, make it some, mm, I said, make it a little weird. Make it interesting. Make, make it interesting. Yeah. Make it something that's out of the box. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Something that you wouldn't normally do, but, you know, think outside the box. Right. Because basically what you want to do is just keep keep the spice going. You don't want the same thing, the same routine all the time. So this is a way to kind of like switch it up. Something that your your significant other or partner wouldn't think that's something that you would do. Mm-hmm. So is this putting on bunny ears and a bunny cottontail, you know, then... And standing there butt naked. Okay. The full costume? I mean, you got half a costume on. You know, bunny rabbit's naked. So. All right, next. <laughs> no, that's true. That's okay. true. All right. Um. So setting the mood, like she said, um, movie night, you can dress up in costumes. You can um, engage with each other throughout the day, you know, telling each other, giving each other praise throughout the day, telling each other how beautiful you look or how sexy you are, or I can't wait to see you, or when I see you, I want to do this, or when I see you, I want to kiss on you, hug you, hold you tight, whatever, something that's going to build up that they know like, okay, this is going to happen. This is coming when they come home or he or she gonna give me this when I come home, or they gonna do this to me, or they gonna make me feel like this. So set those moods and build up that anticipation. Yep. Um, ways to engage during sex. So this is the next one that we gonna hop into. Ways to engage in sex, and um, baby, you brought up activating your senses. Right. Sen- yeah, your senses. So right. activating your senses. We all know what our senses are: our sight smell, taste, touch, and hearing. Um, And there's a way to activate each one of those. Um, And I can just give you just a couple examples on what comes to mind. So sight, um, that can be literal and it can be figurative. So literal means, okay, you know, I'm going to have on a teddy or I want to have on this particular lingerie for my spouse or the, you know, the man can have on a speedo, whatever, you know, whatever y'all choose to do that can be for sight or lack of sight, which is blindfolding. Um, that will intense all the other senses, intensify all the other senses. And then we have taste. So taste that can be um a drink that can be fruit that can be edible underwear that can be it can be anything it can be fruit roll-ups i mean use your imagination it can be anything um next you have sense of smell so you can um utilize essential oils you can light candles um you can sprinkle things on the bed perfume cologne um, it can be anything in regards to scent, um, smell. Then you have touch. So we all know literally touching, touch another person. But then you have other things that you can use like feathers, um, whips, whips chains. Um, chains. yeah, people use chains. Oh yeah, that's no, the, no kink shaming. No kink shaming. No kink shaming. So You're chains. Right. Um. You can think of anything that you have around the house. You can do like a scarf, something soft, a sock, like anything that's soft that, you know, you can touch up against someone else's skin that might feel good. Then the last thing we have is hearing. Mm -hmm. So that can be, you know, your favorite playlist. Um, That can be no sound at all um that can be a challenge for the couple to not make a sound throughout the whole session so um it's both literal 
and figuratively. I I understand. So that's but, but sitting in silence during sex. I mean, it's just it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Or or you like trying to keep the other person quiet, like or trying to make them make as much noise as possible. possible. Like it is basically whatever you choose to do that activates all five senses. What's up, everybody? This your boy Terrio from How Did We Get Here podcast. Um, our business spotlight for this week, uh, for this episode, is my business, the above all land and lawn business, and it's a landscaping business that I've started um, officially um, a year ago. I've been doing this for a while since I was like 20 years old, but it's official, official since last year. Um, but I specialize in not just cutting your normal grass, edging and blowing, but I also do mulching. I plant flowers, I aerate and seed and fertilize and do landscape work, drainage work. So you name it, I do it as far as landscaping. Um, but yes, my business, Above All Land and Lawn, you can follow me on Facebook. I will be having an Instagram page up soon and a website soon. Um, but yeah, Above All Land and Lawn, you can reach me at 757-305-7957 if you need that lawn cut. You know, I take care of you. It's clean, cut, and nice. You did. Um, but like I said, Black Business Spotlight is my business, Above All Land and Lawn. And if you would like to be a part of the Black Business Spotlight, holler at us at how did we get here 21 at gmail.com. Again, if you want to be a part of the Black Business Spotlight, like myself and others that we have presented here on this podcast, hit us up at how did we get here 21 at gmail.com. Okay. Did I get off? Yeah, I think okay. sight, smell, smell touch, taste, 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 touch, feel. Yeah, okay, I did. Yeah. You got them all. Um, another way to to engage in sex is to exchange in power and dominance in the bed. You know, um when you when you're in the bedroom, you know, learn how to give up control and how to submit and how to take control. You know, fellas, let your lady take control. As long as she don't do nothing wild, you know, let her take control, then you take control and y'all create that off and on dominant that creates uh, it creates uh, a um, different dynamic yes, from the norm the for at. someone who's always in control or who's always submitting mm -hmm. and that you know reversal of roles that can create you know some different dynamics within the bedroom yeah and it can make it exciting and you know and then like you said like she said it can make it a challenge you know so y'all challenging each other like you said to see who can give to see who can come the fastest, to see whatever, you know, but it's, what, that's true? Okay. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, the exchange in power, you know, that's, um, that's something that you can do, um, during sex and be, and y'all can also schedule sex. Right. And I mean, yes, it's, it's, it's dope to be spontaneous, but everybody Sometimes it's too busy to be spontaneous. So sometimes you and your partner need to schedule a time where it's you and her or her and him or him and him or she and she, whatever um, your preference is. But y'all have to schedule a time where it's suitable for y'all to have that sex, those sexual moments together and create something. Right. And also you can be spontaneous. You know, take it outside the bedroom, do something different, you know, um, or uh, take it from out of the bedroom and come downstairs on the kitchen counter <laughs> or be spontaneous or do something in the car while y'all driving. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Something like that or find a park or <laughs> like be wild. Don't I mean, be safe. You mean you don't want to get caught. Like she said, a couple episodes, do something that. That's not gonna get you in trouble. Something that's legal, right? <laughs> you know? So like basically, exploring your scenery, um, different places. If you have a your house and it may have a balcony, you know, go out outside at night on your balcony when nobody can see you, and you know, try something there, something different. Um, Let the owl see you at night. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, you better hope nobody see you from the balcony. But, well, it depends on how your house is situated. Well, who cares? It's my house. 
Not unless you're, <laughs> you know, you want to get into voyeurism and let people watch. So, I mean, hey, it's people out there like that. Yeah. Huh? Well, yeah. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> yes, I think it's important that we kind of hone in on scheduling um, a time to be intimate because um, we all are busy. We all, you know, tired. have jobs and, yes, are tired. Sometimes you have new, new babies and everything. So, what you want to do, send them kids to their grandparents or a babysitter for a couple hours and, you know, just schedule that time to be intimate because you, the last thing you want to do is get interrupted by mommy, daddy, can you do this? Yeah, you don't want to do that. That's, you don't want to do that. And, and also, um, one more thing I know is kind of going off of what we said we was going to talk about, but, um, for men and women, um, learn your partner. Learn what turns them on and what turns them off. Um, learn how to figure it out because I know some people really don't care for sex too much as others. Um, and you need to be able to express that to your partner. Like, all right, you may not have the need to have sex like that, but I have a need also. So, yeah. like... Is there where, yes, communication is key regardless when it comes to marriage, when it comes to anything, finances, sex, kids, whatever, communication is like the number one thing. So especially in the bedroom, communication is key. Telling each other, you know, what turns you on? What can I do to help intensify it or build things up quicker for you? Or yes, ladies do love the foreplay men so much we don't or men feel like foreplay is just oral for them i just i didn't heard it from men um uh, so men really don't like to engage other than oral sex they really don't like to do all the other stuff but it's what your lady like it's what your lady want so give it to her and if you don't know what turns you on we'll be saving that for the next uh episode yeah. to find out to learn what learn how and what turns you on as male or female yeah and ways to figure it out yeah. right ways to figure it out but yes all like still like even though we're saying how to set the mood how to engage we also need to find out what turns our partner on what our partner likes in the bedroom what they don't like or what to build up to like don't start here don't go straight here build it up you know, or don't mm. hit, like, don't bite, yes. hit, kick. I mean, <laughs> set set your boundaries early, you know what I mean? The things that you don't like. But as far as that, you know, communicate, period. Communication and learning your own body. You got to learn your body. But we'll At, talk about that on the next episode. Yes, the on, next on, episode, on another, on another episode. episode. Okay, so before we get out of here, um, we're going to do tips tips for sex real quick um our first tip that you can do for sex you know whether it's a set mood engage whatever um tell each other um each other's sexual fantasies you know um or i like i wish that we could you know come in the house take a shower like give it a play by play like this kind of flows into the movie night type thing so you know, tell each other the fantasy of what you think. Like, oh, I want to lay you down on the bed and kiss you here, touch you there, do this to you, do that to you. You know, uh, kind of setting the mood mentally in your head to prepare for something that of that nature, you know, or try to cre recreate that, you know, reenact that right. eventually. If it's, if it's something that you can, you know, do within your own home at mm -hmm. that moment then it's something that you can recreate as far as a fantasy now if it's something like no. oh, i have a fantasy of, in a hot air balloon or <laughs> being in the desert or something like you can't recreate that in your house that's going to be difficult so i mean you want to try to do something you know first that is able to be done within you know simple settings whether that be a beach or whether that be you know your apartment or your house or yeah something like and that. even if it's a beach like we said movie night you can set something up like a beach scene right and it's just y'all in the house you right. know um another tip um 
would be toys and games. Whether it's shooting dice games for different sexual positions, whether if it's games for like scratch offs to like his or her, you know, basically saying you do this or he does this and create it like an off and on day or you do two days, I do two days, whatever, whatever. They got a lot of stuff in the sex stores, Adam and Eve, like any sex store online, in the stores, whatever, um, that you can find them in your local area. Um, go to them. Uh, toys, whatever she likes. Fellas, um, I know fellas may be insecure, so if you do go shopping for dildos with your lady, um, you know, get something that's like the same size as you or smaller. Uh, so you don't feel <laughs> insecure or even when your ladies, whatever, we'll go into that another day. They have but stuff toys, for men as well. So yes, they have, are not left out. They have, they have stuff like cock rings and stuff like that. You know, there's, there's stuff for men too. You know, men really don't care for those. Well, so I can't even say that because it's some kinky guys out here. So no kink shaming. So I'm just saying. Or you can be creative and kind of create your own game. You know, if you think of something that, you know, you would want to do, you can write it down, fold it up, put it in a box, and you can kind of, like, grab grab things out of that, and then you can recreate those things. Like, you could just, you know, create your own stuff. Be very would, creative. Would straps and swings be considered in toys? Yeah. Would, would that be good? Yeah. Be, oh, yeah. yeah. Accessories. All uh, types plants, of accessories. Uh, lubes, all kinds of things that you can, you know, get from any toy store I'm clamp listen <laughs> it's it's a lot of stuff out there it's a lot of stuff really <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's a lot of stuff out there you know um from straps to swings to door swings whatever you like like we said no king shame um another tip is um like she said earlier build anticipation like that that is a that's a good thing throughout the day like sometimes she'll send me text messages throughout the day let me know like hey oh man i can't wait to see my wife when i get home <laughs> okay like okay yo you sent me that okay you sent me that emoji okay that me all right <laughs> but um yeah build anticipation you know it's something that you know it's a mental thing for ladies it is a mental thing for men you know that's a it's kind of an ego or emotional thing sometimes for men, but it's also emotional, but more mentally for women. Because men have to be able to stimulate women mentally before we can stimulate you physically. Remember that, fellas. Mentally before physically. But anyways, um, another way is create a sex menu. This is something that I just seen. Um, and talked with it with my wife and thought it was a, that's a, this is a dope idea. Um, when I mean by sex menu, I mean the appetizer, meaning like foot rub, leg rub, body rub, you know, small little kisses or whatever. <clears throat> then we get to the main course, which is oral sex, you know, the regular sex, you know, the humpy hump. You know, and then if some of you are into, you know, more extreme things, you know, anal play, uh, bondage play, whatever you like to do, whatever's your main course, you know, you can do that. Um, and also, you know, vibrators for the ladies and some men, no kink shaming. Y'all, I mean, y'all just some nasty niggas, but no Stop kink shaming. It. <laughs> but some niggas like vibrators too, I guess. But all right, no kink shaming once again. Um, but um, and then your and then your dessert. Your dessert can be like the rub down, the back massage, the cuddling, um, the the conversations, basically talking about what what just happened, what y'all enjoyed about it. So create a sex menu. You know that's something that's um, very creative. And it's something that I might do myself, you know, um, like, yeah. And when you create that menu, you have that person choose the appetizer, the entree, and the dessert. And, you know, and you go from there. Or it can be four or five course. It don't have to just be three. That's a lot. You want it is a two, lot. two appetizers, two, two entrees, and the dessert. I mean, it can be very extreme. 
Why limit it to three? This goes to corral, then. <laughs> All, you <can> eat. <laughs> All you can eat. <laughs> All right. Well, um, like like we said, you know, um, sorry for the delay. You know, before we end this podcast, um, baby, you want to give your handle? I guess I just give it out to you. You can give it. Well, her handle is on Facebook is Katrina Woodhouse. Mine is Monteria Woodhouse on Facebook. Also, you can follow me on Instagram under Smokey underscore the Bear, D A Bear. Um, and then follow our page at How Did undis- How Did We underscore Get Here on Instagram. And then follow us on YouTube on How Did We Get Here podcast. Subscribe, like, share, comment, do all of that. Um, we thank everybody for listening to this episode. This is just part one, part two. We're going to dive into a little bit deeper and a little bit more serious. Um, this one is just to bring us back in after being gone for a month. Yeah, Yeah, for a month. Um, but we will be hopping back into this and we'll be hopping into a whole bunch of other things. Um, talking from the spiritual background and Christianity um, or whatever spiritual or religion that you may have, um, we're gonna be hopping into a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and if you have any suggestions, feel free to email us on anything that you would like for us to talk about. Because um, right now we're talking about things that are near and dear to us, which will help, you know, you guys, other couples. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and any any topics y'all want to talk about, you know, me myself, I have no filter. I really just, I, I don't care. I'll talk about anything. I really don't care. So um, hit us up at how did we get here 21 at gmail.com. Um, if you want to send us your confessions, you can send it to us. If you want to display somebody's uh, business or your business, hit us up at how did we get here 21 at gmail.com or hit us up on Instagram at how did we underscore get here on Instagram and holler at us, tell us your confession, um, tell us your business plans or, or businesses that you know or any friends or family that owns their own businesses. Um, send them send them to us so we can promote them. Put them out there for other people to see. Um, anything else, baby? All right, we out of here. Peace.